So it's always a good idea to do a little bit of cleaning. This is a nice case because when you pull this out, the whole side pops off. See, this whole thing pops out. And what we see on the inside, a lot of really interesting stuff. Okay, now, in this model, the, the fan is pulling this way so that the air flows out here and it's going to cool the motherboard. And that whole thing is the motherboard. That's the big central processing chip. And let's see what else we can identify. Somewhere here there are cards. See, these are cards. And then this is... I wonder if that's the hard drive. That's a power supply. See all the wires coming out? That's power. These are the drives. Uh, DVD reader and CD reader. DVD drive burner. Somewhere here is a hard drive. I wonder where the hard drive is. Huh. Not sure where the hard drive is. And then there's this thing here. I don't know what that is. But you see, you can see the dust in different areas. So we go in there, try to remove that dust. Now, some people say that you have to be careful not to spread the dust around, you know, like you would be um, just pushing the dust into places that it doesn't need to go. So, use a damp cloth and try to remove the dust. See, I can see a little ledge right over there. So I go down there and... Now, moisture is not good for these boards. So I don't really want to use moisture on the board, right? But I can go in and just kind of remove. They say that 80% of dust comes from human skin flaking off. And one way we can avoid this is to, oh, and don't wear shoes in the house because shoes track in dirt from other places. You know what, I think that's the hard drive down here because there's these wires coming in that looks like a hard drive. And then, ah, I don't know what this is. But anyway, <coughs> we've had our hard drive replaced recently. That right there's a battery. See the round battery? That's right there. Right there, that's the battery. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's the battery, that round thing. Ah, these things cool things off, so there has to be airflow over that. Best thing I can do now, <laughs> see, I'm getting a signal that it's too hot. Um, it was saying on the screen, 33 degrees C. 33 degrees C. Now we know that 30 is 86. So three more, add six. 92 degrees inside here? Not good. No, no, no. So we have to be a little careful about our temperatures. I think that's about all that I can do right here. I hope that you will take care of your computers if you're a child and watching this, I hope you will do it with your um, parent or an adult. Notice, I unplugged this, so there's no um, materials going in. However, I'm careful not to touch most of those components because some of these things are called capacitors, and they have the capacity of holding electricity. So when something touches it, it can release the electricity. So beware, don't, if you're taking apart a computer, be very careful. You have to ground everything to make sure the electricity has a place to go away from you. Okay, for legal purposes, I have to say, do not do what I'm doing. Okay, but you can certainly take care of the dust and you can put your dust buster in there or some sort of um, vacuum cleaner. Thank you for watching.